this is Ask Dr. Anna, and today I want to talk to you about post-traumatic growth and recovery. Four things that every trauma survivor must do. First, you absolutely have to work on your trauma recovery every single day. It's not a luxury item. It's not something you can avoid doing. You really, if you want to get to a better place and really recover, you have to do this. Two, you have to know how to harness calm because of this is your personal power. I'm not kidding. It's really a huge thing to learn how to do that. And it can make the difference between suffering daily or being able to own your own internal world and make a huge change. Um, Hansen wrote uh, Hardwiring Happiness. He actually um, wrote this book, Hardwiring Happiness, Rick Hansen, and it's actually a very interesting book. And in the book, he talks about going to the green, and he talks about two different states that really are mainly about being in the red zone or the green zone. And the red zone is all about that anxious, agitated state where you feel really out of control versus that green zone where you're finding ways that really work to reinforce a state of calm and stabilization inside of your body and that you're wired to be able to do that. We all are. Three, trauma is the great human equalizer. Never think that life is unfair to you. I get how tough things can be and how awful things can happen to you, to me, to everybody in this world. Stuff does happen. And it's hard to get over it. That part I really get. I really appreciate that. But I want you to recognize that life is absolutely fragile. But in order for it to make any sense, it has to be lived well. And you have to grasp every possible pleasant moment you can. Make sense of your world. Make it mean something. And for... Commit to exercises that will help you to work through the traumas you've experienced already. I know that can sound really terrifying, but the reality is, is the alternative is even worse. And the doing the work, working through the terrible things can be incredibly liberating. Because if you don't, you remain haunted by the pain of the past and that continues to intrude and undermine your life every single day. So let's recap. One, work daily. Two, harnessing calm is your personal power. Three, trauma is the great human equalizer. We all contend with these things. And four, figure out what will help you to work through trauma every single day and really commit to that because that's what makes the difference. This is Dr. Anna Baranowski wishing you a gentle day. If you find these videos helpful for you, subscribe and like and absolutely share so that we can continue this conversation about post-traumatic growth and recovery.